Have you ever noticed that it takes more force to get something moving than it does to keep it moving? Take a look at this. I'm going to pull a large stack of blocks and I want you to watch the spring balance. It increases, increases, the block doesn't move, suddenly a threshold is reached and I can pull it now at a constant velocity with less force. Here it is in slow motion. It's approaching 4.5 newtons, suddenly it releases, the block moves and I can pull it with less force. Now let's take a look at this a bit more carefully. Here's what happened. There's, it takes more force to get it going. Here it is about 4.5 newtons. That's called the static friction. Static has to do with something at rest. And the formula is the same. It's mu Fn, but the coefficient of friction is different. It's called the coefficient of static friction. And it's a different number than when the block is moving. Now here's the spring balance. When I was moving the block at constant velocity, it was less force, less friction, 2.5 newtons this time. And this is called kinetic friction, when the thing is moving. And the formula is the same as before, but the difference is the coefficient is different. And it's called the coefficient of kinetic friction. F is equal to mu with a little k times the normal force. Now let's take a look at this. Here is a block sitting on a table. The static friction is 5 newtons. It means it takes 5 newtons to get it going. The kinetic friction is 3 newtons. That's how much to keep it going. Now suppose I push with 1 newton. What's the friction? Answer, 1 newton. Not 5 newtons, but the friction uh, there means there's 5 newtons available. If I push with 1, I get 1. If I push with 3, it responds with 3. However, when I push with 5, the threshold is now reached and the block is able to move and will begin to move. Now if I then now push with 3 newtons because it's already moving, I can pull it at a constant velocity because I have balanced forces and the kinetic friction is 3 newtons. Look at the diagram very carefully. Now let's suppose I uh, pull it with 5 newtons of force and the thing starts moving what happens is the kinetic friction is 3. Now I have an unbalanced force and the thing accelerates.